I'm Sam Von Trapp. I'm standing here in front of the Trapp Family Lodge, my family's hotel here in Stowe, Vermont. We've been here since 1942. It's been a hotel since 1950. My father created the first full-service cross-country ski center in the United States here in 1968. We still have world-class cross-country skiing, We've hosted the NCAA championships many times here on our trail system. Also have world-class mountain biking, 18-hole disc golf course, 96 rooms here in the hotel. We also have our guest houses and villas on the property so we can host a large number of people here. And it's just amazing to share this beautiful location with so many people and use this to help them to recharge their spirit. So here we are in front of the beer hall, which is attached to the brewery, the brewery production facility. Uh, obviously the pandemic was a difficult time for restaurants and for breweries. Uh, we were very fortunate here that we have a lot of space at our beer hall. We were able to move most of our dining outdoors, uh, but we also have a lot of indoor space as well. COVID was difficult for breweries and restaurants alike. Uh, about half of the beer sales that we do are in draft. And as you can imagine, Pretty much all the restaurants and bars were shut down during the pandemic, so that was very difficult. It's great to feel the demand coming back. In fact, coming back uh, very, very strongly. And uh, it's just super exciting to see our team working uh, so hard again and trying to get as much beer out there as we can. Got to get people a healthy beer. My father, Johannes, always loved the crisp, clean Austrian lagers that he would have when he went back to Austria. In the early to mid 90s, I was an early adopter of craft beer and was trying to convince my dad to try more of it. He was wondering why lagers were so underrepresented in the craft brewing scene and decided that he wanted to open a lager centric craft brewery. After a couple of decades thinking about this, in 2010, we opened our first brewery. It was the classic situation with a lot of used equipment in a retrofitted space. Uh, we did great, made phenomenal beer. We're distributing within Vermont, had a lot of requests from out of state. And my father decided that this was a product that we could really feel comfortable putting our name behind and sending outside of Vermont. So for the first time, we started focusing actually on doing business outside of the state of Vermont. This brewery here was completed in 2015. In 2015, we started brewing out of this new cutting edge facility and now are distributing our beer as far south as Virginia. This space is 36,000 square feet. We also have our beer hall restaurant attached and where I'm standing right now, the observation deck is actually part of the restaurant. So guests can be up here drinking a beer, having a meal while looking out over the beautiful production facility. And of course, everybody loves the big ass fan.
So now I'm going to take you around the brewery, show you a little bit of how the production works, and we're going to start over here where the ingredients come in with our water and our malt. So this is where our water comes into the building. We are very fortunate to have an amazing spring water source that comes from the mountains behind the lodge. Water is critical for the types of beers that we make. Because our flavors are not overly strong, most of our beers are not overly malty or overly hopped, the underlying flavor of the water really matters. So this spring was actually discovered by my father, Johannes. He found it on old maps, went out, figured out where it was in the woods, bought that property. This was all about 50 years ago, and it provided the drinking water for the hotel for many decades. Now we use that water for our snowmaking system. Uh, it's the drinking water at my house, at our sugar house where we make the maple syrup, at my parents' house, and it's what we brew with. So we use this ice water here to cool down the wort after we finish the brewing process, bring it down toward initial fermentation temperatures so it doesn't scald the yeast. And our malt, we are very fortunate to have indoor bulk malt silos. So here in Vermont, the climate can be very challenging. By having our bulk malt silos indoors, it helps to protect the quality of the malt and the quality of the brewing process. So here we are now coming underneath the brew house. Got our mash done. And dedicated decoction vessel. Given our focus on Austrian and Bavarian styles of beer, decoction is really critical to that process. Uh, the definition of decoction is simply boiling something in order to extract something from it. In the case of brewing, decoction is partway through the mashing process, taking a third of the mash out, bringing it over into the decoction vessel where it gets a quick boil, then bringing it back into the mash tun where it heats up the rest of the mash, adding another temperature step. So, so through the process of step mashing and decoction, we're able to add a much deeper flavor profile to our beers. At different temperatures, you get different enzymatic reactions, converting the malt into subtly different forms of sugar, and in that fashion, makes for a deeper flavor profile in our beers. So here we are at CCV5, Conical Conditioning Vessel 5. As the beer is fermenting, CO2 is bubbling to the top of the tank, forcing its way down this pipe into the water here, making sure that no air from the room can accidentally sneak back into that tank. That means you have that nicer mouthfeel from the natural CO2. It also helps protect the beer because if we were forced carbonating for all of the carbonation, that's a lot of CO2 to be pushing through our beer. Uh, as that CO2 moves through, creates carbonic acid, which can actually break down some of the delicate flavor compounds in the beer. Our newest, most exciting arrival on the property, our centrifuge, just came in last week. We cannot wait to see this thing operate. So after we package all of our beer, comes here into our 2,300 square foot cooler. So here are a few of our beers. Uh, mostly here we've got year-round offerings. Our Helles, we created the brewery to make Helles. Helles just means bright in German. That's the regular go-to beer that people are drinking on a day-to-day -day basis in Austria and Bavaria. Very crisp and clean, only 4.9% ABV, 20 IBUs. If it were up to my dad, this would have been the only beer that we made at the beginning, uh, but uh, I'm glad we decided to make a few others. Uh, Vienna, the next one up the line, a little more malty, classic for pairing with food, still very reasonable at 5.2% alcohol. Uh, but again, just a little bit more hearty uh, with the darker malts. Our Kolsch style beer is our newest addition to our year-round offerings. It was a seasonal, but it was so popular that we're now offering it year-round, 5% alcohol. Uh, we try to make all of our styles representative of the authentic style from Europe. Uh, so our Kolsch was inspired by what we consider the gold standard, uh, Reisdorf Kolsch. Um, this has been a nice addition along with Hellas as far as something very light and extremely drinkable in the warm months, particularly. Our award-winning Pilsner took a silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival. 
Uh, that has become actually our number one seller now, uh, taking over from Hellas. And it's a Bohemian style Pilsner, 42 IBUs, 5.4% alcohol. And this one does particularly well in what I call our southern markets, which is basically all of our markets. Pretty much everywhere we sell is south of us. Our Dunkel, uh, good classic dark beer. Dunkel just means dark in German. 5.7% uh, alcohol. Uh, great during the warm months, but also perfectly drinkable year round. So we use the Kolsch in here this time of year. And as the days get shorter and darker, uh, then we add the Dunkel in to replace the Kolsch. Right. Here we've got a couple of our seasonals, our Rodler, uh, another classic style that derived from Bavaria. Uh, the, a lot of people know the story, but basically the innkeeper wanted to water down his beer uh, because he didn't have enough for the huge group of bikers who had come in. Uh, so mixed juice with the beer. Uh, so ours is grapefruit style, uh, based off of our Hellas recipe. Comes in at 3.9% alcohol and really, really refreshing when it's hot out and a great beer if you are going to be starting to drink a little earlier in the day with the low ABV. And Oktoberfest, as we're moving into Oktoberfest season soon, uh, classic beer. Ours is a Merzen style, 5.6% alcohol, 35 IBUs. This is the classic style that was made for the original Oktoberfest. Our best-selling seasonal, and as you can imagine, just fits right in the wheelhouse of an Austrian Bavarian-style brewery. So here we are at the beer garden. As you can see, this is an amazing spot to sit outside, have a great meal, and an amazing clean beer. People can arrive here to the beer hall on bikes, walking, skis, snowshoes. It's amazing to look out in the winter and to see a rack full of skis and snowshoes and a bunch of happy, rosy-cheeked people sitting inside. Uh, we do a lot of events here as well. Our Oktoberfest coincides every year with the opening of the Munich Oktoberfest. So whenever Munich starts, that's our Oktoberfest day. We will have well over a thousand people here for that event. Uh, again, just a perfect event for the styles of beer that we make. We also do various different uh, beer tasting, beer pairing events, both here at the beer hall, also up at the restaurants at the hotel and then also do events in the market. So there are plenty of times when I'm out traveling, uh, going to other states where we sell our beer and getting to do events at various restaurants and bars uh, that carry our products. So it's great for me to get out in the market, have a chance to meet people. You can check on our website on vontrapbrewing.com and find out uh, more about when we might have an event somewhere near you. So thanks for joining us on this miniature tour. Hope that you'll have a chance to join us here in Stowe, Vermont. And I hope to see you out here at our beer hall. Prost.